outer orange. Outer orange here, previous see it, and welcome back to my channel. One Piece ban list just got announced. It is a really, really aggressive ban list. You can check out all the stuff right here. I decided to try out Law with the restrictions in mind, since basically Straw Hat version of Law is dead. So I decided to try White Beer version. And I have a couple games here. Like I said, this is mainly just testing. So I'm gonna do some oopsies and probably not, you know, the best, but I did my best and it was actually really fun to just see how the deck works. And now you can see it too. So I hit record like a little too late like so basically the game had already started but it's like literally just the beginning with the dawn so, so i'm going second to this matchup this is now with the white beard stuff so i'm starting off with Izo as a search target and i was like thinking hmm, what do i want to grab here i had a vista i had marco i had the blockers as my option quite a lot call the body down and basically pass it back over i will say the body was definitely a misplay here i didn't realize that they could just like rest it and swing into it but i don't know this matchup too well so i had to just give up the body because i didn't get chance to use the skill or anything just accept my L there. It's my turn now, so I'm swinging in. I have the Vista in hand. I'm thinking if I want to use it or not. I think I just do. So just to get rid of any units or targets like that. So that's one way to just pop some stuff. Then it's their turn. And while this is happening, you'll notice I have a lot of high cost units in my hand. And this is, isn't very good for me. But then I think I start drawing into some better targets like this, basically. So we do have the Bonnie. And then I'm, re I'm reading that card right there, thinking how to, how to get rid of it. But there's no good way to get rid of it. I can't shambles yet. And I'm like thinking through what I can do. And I realize that there's not much I can do but apply pressure so basically I just think about the deploying and just cutting some cards I get I think I whiff this search which is very painful this is the downside to Bonnie now I think she whiffs more uh than she used to I don't know it feels like she whiffs more I think I'm thinking through how I want to approach this I basically I put a dot in I swing I think I'm just gonna call it the Zoro here which is what I do I deploy the Zoro and swing that way and then pass it back along to them so now it's their turn uh, like I guess I don't know this deck too too well so I don't know exactly what's coming my way but I wasn't too afraid of like of, of being a little harassed here because I did have some pretty decent cards in my hand. They're just all really high costs. So here he comes swinging in. He's probably gonna swing towards Bonnie. Yeah, so he's gonna swing towards Bonnie. We're gonna let that resolve. And I'm gonna hope that I draw into something that will let me shambles here because, oh my lord, never mind, I am not shambling. So with this hand, we are not doing shambles. I think here I just decide to just start using my units to attack with, which is what I do, uh, just to start poking. And because I honestly have nothing else to really do, I can like raw call the laws, but to be honest, not really doing much. My only saving grace here is having the Luffy, actually. Luffy, Luffy is definitely a good target to just have in hand to apply pressure a little bit later. So here I just go straight in. I know they're going to rest my stuff anyway. I'm going to try to swing into it. So I just said, screw it. I put them to zero. I don't know what their hand was looking like, but I guess it was bad. And I think that was my saving grace this matchup. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I give up everything. They call it three blockers, by the way. And then I'm like, I right, let me see if I can find something i find nothing with the iso and then i'm looking at the luffy and i'm like you know what screw it i guess we're just gonna i'm looking at the dog look at the luffy I'm like you know what maybe i'll just call the luffy for games that's exactly what i do i put all the dawn on him and i just swing and i win the game so that was that game that was a very 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 interesting game there's ace now i'm not gonna lie ace is a really really terrible matchup and i think it actually got worse with the with the band list in mind i think ace is just brutal ace was already brutal i think it just got harder here i basically was like all right i'm just gonna get as much value out of my searchers as possible just call it a day but guess what i whiffed again i've been really good at whiffing that that search in particular uh probably because this deck does have like a half and half thing that has some you know other cars that are white beard i think that's what's hurting it so he does he, he was his eyes though he did not miss his so the brave props to him i kind of eat everything i guess we could start i knew my, my stuff was going to get retired anyway so i actually start using my attackers here because i'm thinking okay well i'm gonna lose them and there's no point in trying to even attempt to shambles because everything's just gonna get board wiped uh so here they choose to attack my my thing i think i block this actually just to just to I don't know, just piss in his cereal or something. I don't, I don't know what I was trying to get out with that. Like, I don't know what the point of it was, but I did block it. He could just retire it, but I was just like, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So you go swing in. These numbers are way too big, so I just like, have to eat them. Call the Vista here because I can actually pop some stuff. I think I swing there first, and then I'm going to call it the Vista to remove the buggy because buggy is a problem. Buggy is hard to like hit into certain things, so because Buggy has very specific stuff. So I think here I actually decide to set up first just in case there's any events I have to worry about. So I swing first and then here I'm going to call it the Vista, the pop, and then I'm going to call it a blocker and basically pass. Pretty decent setup here. We're in a pretty good spot. Honestly, our hit is looking pretty healthy here, but the issue is that this deck starts accelerating at this exact curve right here. This is the seven curve. 
Uh, this deck starts getting very scary, so I use my blocker here first. He's swinging in. I have to eat some of this because, God, my, my, uh, I probably should, honestly, now that I'm looking back, I probably should have guarded that. But I guess I was just too scared to like lose my pieces or something, so I chose to just uh, to just take it. So here I brought I picked up the blocker killer there. I will say I think I changed this to Beggy later on in my in my playtesting, but for now it's for now it's the killer. Uh, so here I'm basically setting up for shambles because I have nothing else to do to be honest. So I think I first decide to swing or you know try to try to apply the try to swing to stuff first in case of any 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 fishy business. So I swing into the that homie right there. Yeah, ace homie and actually i can out him if i play this correctly which i think i'm going to i think i'm gonna just deploy some stuff attack again into it uh but i think realistically i could actually bounce the vista and then just try to get rid of it that way but i think i just but i think this is definitely the better approach so here we have shambles coming in i think i'm deciding what i want to shambles here because i have three units rested but i use my wah go law pick up whatever it is i decided to pick up i think i'm pretty i think my thought was i'm pretty good on supernovas though i forgot about zoro Zoro was something I wasn't thinking about. So here we go. So now I get attacked with the white beard. This is pretty rough. It does give me a draw, at least with the killer, but the white beard is pretty high, very hard to out. Uh, there's only a couple cards that can out that card because it's just such a big, big beefy boy. But I look through, I pick up a Luffy actually here, which does help me a little bit for, you know, Luffy's always a good finisher. But the downside here is I'm at like one. He's at three. He's got a white beard out. This isn't looking very nice. Uh, we did. I think we hit with that. We have a pretty beefy hand, though. This hand uh, was like insanely beefy. When I, was, I, remember, I remember when I was playing this out, I was like, well, my hand looks really good. Uh, but we have to hit over a 7k um, and he actually takes it all most of it. So the farming gets pretty, pretty good for him. But I have nowhere else to really swing. The only thing I could have done is not swung and pass, but it didn't seem right either. So I actually chose to just kind of reset up my board. I did have a second blocker law in my hand. So I was thinking, all right, we're in a pretty good shape. Like we have a lot of shield. We have two, three, four, seven, nine. We have 11k shield in our hand, which is actually pretty nice. I can deal with like a, I could even deal with like a white beard turn if that's if that's what happens here. And then I'm also picking up more cards. And I think I was deciding what to even grab because I just had no idea. I kind of didn't want to grab anything. I think that's exactly what I do. I think I, I think I go through it. I'm like, I'm just not going to grab anything. Which I think was a smart choice here. You gave me an extra counter in hand too. So there is the uh, I believe that's a gum gum pistol or something just a full just basically retiring my my board here which is very rough that was a like a mini board wipe but i thought it was a half board wipe uh, these numbers get huge by the way and i'm thinking like god how do i i actually think i just block that just pure block it and then he attacks again i can actually block that too if i wanted to i think that's maybe what i do here it would be ideal to try and block it i think i'm counting my counters i'm like is it worth it i could block it i have two 2ks i think i just eat it which I don't know if that was smart, but because I can't kill because he's at two and I'm at zero life and next turn I'm 100% dead. And I think my thought was like, I guess I'll just try and kill. I do pick up. So, oh, I found another blocker, which is pretty useful. Having two blockers felt pretty healthy. And I think that's what I'm going to try and set up here for is a double blocker turn again. But the downside is I think he has exactly enough to kill me. And he also has the white beard, which is something I keep in the back of my head. The white beard is there. So I think here I just attack first. Again, in, in case of any events or any shenanigans that happen here uh that that life is very scary against decks like this like uh, zoro and and zoro and ace like scare the crap out of me when it comes to their life like they can just randomly like kill some really high targets here so i think about how to set up here like i said we got a lot of shield i actually choose to go aggro here i'm not really again i don't know i think i i remember now i called so many 2k counters here which was a big big mistake i think this is where i actually think i would have won this game if i had played this correctly so this was a really big mistake here i made calling out two 2ks i think actually cost me i think i realized about halfway through how much it screwed me up i do still bounce stuff but i think my my, my mind i thought i had a blocker law in hand and i didn't and i realized that i'm only bouncing one 2k instead of bouncing multiple but then my brain was like oh maybe the blocker will blocker will be enough but look how much look how much dawn i left open this is definitely like a very badly run law play, law play. so I, I of course lose here there's no there's no way the white beard alone like board wipes it was gonna retire one of my dawn i mean one of my blockers when he attacks and also he minuses my stuff and this is basically game funnily enough had i just uh played a cautious game and i slowed it down here i think i actually would have won because i'm gonna i'm gonna be able to block that right i can't i can block that but i can't block the last one and that's where where i got really hurt i realized that i could block this one but i can't block all of them so i just basically lose there that was definitely just to pause the game real quick that was definitely a, I, I definitely feel if i had just not called the two k's 
um, and had just probably just swung raw and maybe called out the killer without shamblings, I think I would have been fine. I think trying to push for an extra attack there wasn't smart. But what scared me was I think the fact that it was a two F and the fact that I was a zero and that they had a white beard on the board that I couldn't out necessarily. And I think knowing that I didn't really have much time left push, forced me to decide like, okay, maybe I can just push here. Maybe because his hand was pretty small and I thought like maybe that'll be enough. But that definitely probably wasn't the smart way. I, I called out a lot of guard counter that I could have used to guard through um, because he called out the ace and stuff. He didn't have much dawn to work with to spread out his dawn and i think i would have been would have been fine so i think the next game that's coming up is actually a kid game and this one's actually pretty interesting and this is the last one by the way i think that this will be our last game for for this for this video but this one i think i was a little uh, I, I faced kid in the past so i kind of knew this matchup a little bit better but at the same time i was like well we'll see what happens basically so i mean there we go so there's kid there's there's a there's a boy kid. Actually, this is the deck I start child X on. But anyway, here I think I just play the normal game plan of the ISO just set up. I obviously whiff again for the hundredth time. A lot of whiffing going on, but then I do another one, and this one had like a bunch of white beard stuff. So I pick up a blocker and basically just pass it back to, to kid. Kid swings. I was a little fearful of potentially him trying to restand because sometimes they like to do that, but he didn't. He just called the Nami because this is with the film cards in mind. So I swing in. I have a very, very good hand here, by the way. This is this is pretty, pretty good stuff right here. So I basically just set up a board. Uh they don't retire as heavily as far as i know they can rest like that but they don't really retire so i was too scared of losing my units so i just let go of the blocker that he swings face and i think i just eat this and just pass it back to me i have a really really good starting hand here i have the vista i got the got the zoro i got a lot of stuff to work with i think here i choose to just try and out the nami because that's usually where the farming starts happening so i force out the shield and then call the vista and basically just get rid of it anyway uh which was actually i think was a pretty pretty smart play here it was definitely good so here i choose to rest and swing again just trying to apply as much pressure as possible and then i shambles here shambles use the ability to bounce all my stuff back and reset up my board to swing again with the zoro this i think was a very 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 strong law move here just overall it's just if this felt powerful we removed board we removed we got some hand we got some life that was just really good he goes in for the zoro and just passes here i guess there's not much else they could have done and i think that was smart just to kind of hold off a little bit so i set up now i'm swinging with the vista because i think i'm gonna actually pop that that green card there uh, i do i do pop the green card there there. So I set up I set up again. Not a vista. We do we can't shambles here, but I think first I choose to just swing. Uh there's the block. So here we're gonna shambles here, probably pick something up and bounce something back. And then I'll probably maybe I'm just, I think I'm deciding how I want to shambles since I have to pick up green and go to Bonnie here. Uh, I think I use the Abani effect here, grab myself a Luffy, because I just that, that game that card just saves me so many games and it's harder to find now. So here I go swinging to Bonnie. People always swing to the Bonnie, and you know, there comes a point where I just don't care. And I just, I just, I'm like, all right, cool. I gotta really carry. But calls out another one of those rester girls. Swings right into the Vista. I'm like, fine. I have a plenty of cards to replenish with. I'm not too scared. Whips out the chopper here. This is the film chopper on attack. They can rest like a two KOS or something like that. So I'm not too scared of the chopper. But however, I am thinking, all right, we probably need to out this board. So that's actually what I do. So I start off with the Vista here. And then I'm thinking, how am I gonna like, uh, oh, never mind. I guess I'm just gonna do that. Never mind. There's a thing, a point where I, I, the board just comes back and I have to play very carefully. The Vista's really pop off here. So here, I can't, I I have no way to shambles but green to red that's actually what i do it's a little risky i'm not even gonna lie y'all this was this is definitely not the smartest decision because of the restand uh and i pick up i pick up the law here and i think i go into like luffy or zoro i don't know which one i pick but i, I guess it was, i think i picked zoro because i wanted the luffy for next turn so i actually go to zoro put up the dawn on him and swing um this was very interesting because the honestly with my hand and two life uh, there it was a, it felt it felt scary to do this because he could restand you know his 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 dude but i actually like realized i had enough guard to kind of deal with it so i wasn't too too scared but still like this is what i was scared of so that's a pretty aggressive turn that's actually why i decided to call out the the luffy here so i had to think this through i knew killer could potentially save him the game here and this is the part where things got hard my vistas were already on the board but i really needed to get rid of that vista as ASAP because that draw could be the difference between me winning and losing the game here. So I'd have to think through how am I going to do this? So I actually deploy, I think I deploy the Luffy just straight up raw and I put the Dawn under him and I just swing in basically. But knowing because because I bounced the law, this actually helps me because I can reset the Vista here. So I think I decide how I want to attack here, thinking through knowing about the killer, because like I said, the killer is the big difference here. We don't really care about anything else. There's one life left and one card in hand. But if he draws into another card, he could potentially save him the game here. So what I do is I think I shambles instead, calling out the law, picking up the Vista and then recalling out the Vista again here. So this pops the killer. So now I'm like, all right, now I have nothing to be scared of. There's no more blocker. 
and there's 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 nothing else like uh, this is it like that now I'm, I'm perfectly fine he has two cards in hand he doesn't have much to work with i have the blocker back i'm in a really good spot here i also have double luffy in my hand and i can eat most of, most of these attacks like i'm okay because i can use the i can take a life and i can use law to help me and the next game was and then the next turn will solidify me so here you just to go for game basically it puts in the 10 and then that he still has the, the three daunt to restand so he restands here speaking of he had the doffy so now it's my turn and this is basically game here uh there's no more blocker no more nothing there's not much they can do i have i have the restander here so i put the put the dawn on the on the luffy and i just go in and then i shambles and basically they concede and that was game so yeah, so it worked out pretty well. So those are some games I wanted to showcase you guys with the white beard deck. Can't remember the exact list I used for this one, but it was pretty interesting. Overall, it felt pretty good. I will say it definitely feels weaker than obviously the, the straw hat build. The straw hat build was just insane. There's just so much value you get out of it. You can still brick and stuff like that, but it felt very strong. I feel like you whiff less with the with the, with your searches in this deck in particular. I haven't noticed that the whiffing is a lot more. I will say, uh, as I played more matches than just this one, this was just some that I decided to showcase here. Uh, that were more interesting to watch but some of the other ones i played i noticed that like it came down to me misplaying and because of that i'd lose the game so just something that i noticed but i was also testing a new variation of the deck so of course i was expecting to misplay and like learn off of the misplay so that's okay so long story short due to that i was aware i was like okay this deck has some capabilities of still kind of sticking around i feel like otherwise i felt pretty good about it i will say i'm not too happy with uh how law plays now i definitely felt more impactful before now it feels like a little bit harder to kind of play law but that's fine that's that's the whole point you know the band happened for a reason the deck's been around for a while but i just i just want to show you guys what it looks like to play law with the restrictions in mind hope you guys enjoy that and and hope you guys like the video overall please like subscribe all that fun stuff and and as always i'm just here having fun playing the game uh learning a lot myself so you know having fun so yeah anyway guys peace out that's for daniel see you guys in a future video bye